I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see fourth-year quarterback Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys as they do battle with the reigning MVP of the National Football League, Patrick Mahomes, and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, we're off to Arrowhead for the call from Kansas City. We'll hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, we'll first open way back in 1972. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium, part of the Truman Sports Complex here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. I'm Brandon Gaunt along with Charles Davis. Charles, good matchup here. A couple of playoff teams from a season ago. And just think about how the NFL works, partner. Eight teams that made the playoffs the year before didn't make it last season. So there's always going to be parity in this league, and guys have to be ready to go. Just because you made it the year before doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get back again. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Cowboys offense takes a field under the guidance of Dak Prescott. And it is just amazing how fortunes can change quickly in the NFL. You know, for Dak Prescott, free agent may even be a literal fortune. He was on top of the world after the Cowboys 3-0 start. But since then, Charles, three straight losses. And remember, they started the season with a schedule that seems to be favorable as we look at it now, right? I mean, open up the season beating up on the Giants. Then they went to Washington to beat up on, on the team in D.C. And, and oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. As you and I both know, one reason teams script plays to start a game is so they can practice them ahead of time. I will guarantee you, that fumble was not in the script. You don't think they had fumble written next to play one there? <laughs> no, that was never in the script because they want to have good memories when they go into a ball game, not something that could have gone wrong. Now a man who really came on late last year, it's Damian Williams. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, with Damian Williams, it's notable that the Chiefs didn't make a play to go after a big-time running back in the offseason. The coaching staff said back in May they didn't want running back by committee. They trusted Williams to be their starter. You remember last year, he was forced into the starting role the final three games of the season due to attrition, and he really excelled. And then he was excellent in the playoffs against the Colts and Patriots. Strong indicator that he was ready to be the bell cow. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Mahomes to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. 
But when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They're going to double cover him every chance they get. I think that that is what we're going to see all game long, an early taste of that double, maybe even sometimes triple coverage we might see. Yeah, I think what they're counting on, his talent to sometimes beat that double coverage. And Butker able to put this one through. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. Butker, what a pickup he's been for Kansas City the last two years. Remember, he was drafted by Carolina to be the eventual successor to Graham Gano. That didn't pan out. Casey got him as a free agent. He's been really good. Yeah, Gano said, oh, no, I'm keeping my <laughs> job. But Butker found his home in Kansas City, a franchise record for points scored in his first two seasons. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Cowboys taking the field again here offensively. And speaking of Dallas, we discussed their Week 6 loss to the Jets earlier. That's a head-scratcher. Even though it's on the road, nobody saw them losing that. And now all of a sudden, they're at 3-3. Three and three. And when you look for positives, that's what you just hit on. They're 3-3 three and three and still tied for first in their division with Philadelphia. And if you really want to make things go away, at least for a little while, Beat Philadelphia, take over first place by yourself. Oh, by the way, they play Sunday night in Dallas. Excuse me, in Arlington, Texas. That's a big ball game for them, a big ball game for Philly. And the bottom line is, if you win your division, no matter what the record, you go to the playoffs. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave them with third and still seven yards to go. And a glance now at the Chiefs' defense. Tyron Matthews' instincts as a defensive back, I believe, are second to none. And that allows him to play all over the secondary. He can line up as an outside, inside in the slot, and that's difficult to do because you get so much traffic in there. And then, of course, they can also move him back as a safety. Anywhere you put him, though, you know he's going to end up around the football. Now Prescott, complete to Jason Witten. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. A first down carry by Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. On second down, it's Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards there, first down. That's how you get right up off of the map, because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10 to throw is Prescott. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination, look pretty good. How about that? They, let's, see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. A gain of six there on first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Prescott. And that is incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. 
That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Of course, the door for Meyer was opened after a little bit of a surprise move. The Cowboys letting go of Dan Bailey last year. Yeah, Maher took over in the preseason. He's from Nebraska via the Canadian Football League where he kicked for four years. And I saw him personally make two game-winning field goals last season against Detroit and in Atlanta. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Back out here comes Kansas City's offense. Uh, Charles, those two straight home losses for Kansas City, as we said earlier, drops them to four and two. But, you know, you've told me you still very much believe in this team despite those two defeats. I certainly do. They have to shore things up on defense, and we'll see how that goes, especially in the run game. But when Patrick Mahomes is piloting your offense and you have the weapons on the perimeter and they've gotten Damian Williams back as a running back, they're going to be dangerous every time they play. Still can't believe they lost consecutive home games the first time since 2015 because that's a tough environment for an opponent to go into. But this short week, Thursday night at Denver, a vital game for Kansas City. They need it in a big way. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the all-pro tight end, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Mahomes. And Robinson with a big catch. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Well, last year, Chris Conley was the third option at receiver for Kansas City. He shipped off to Jacksonville. Now they're hoping that Robinson can help fill that void. And Andy Reid has said that he and Mahomes are developing a great rapport, hoping to improve upon the 22 times they connected last season. A pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Jalen Smith, who took a huge step forward last year, in on the tackle for Dallas. On second down now, it's Williams. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. 3-3, three, three, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Second quarter for Merrillhead. It's the Chiefs in possession. They'll need to convert a third and seven, though, to start things out. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only one so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. And how about this, a fake? But he will not make the first down marker. And that'll be a turnover on downs. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, they look like they were educated for that. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. You got it. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Scott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Like a freight train there, Derek Nottie with a sack. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. When you get your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. And it's put up or shut up time defensively. Nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. 
Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Marr able to put this one through. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals. at 6-3. to three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They begin the drive with Williams. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Damian Williams. 73 yards, and the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right? They saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Amari Cooper and the rest of the offense heading back out there now. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, just like the ticking time bomb, the longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. The defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front, so when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And he's able to get up here to the 26. The Cowboys on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Here's Prescott. They'll roll him out right. And an alley to run. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I like this effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. And yeah, that'll cross midfield here, not by much. Out of bounds just on the other side of the 50. And now here comes Kansas City. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They'll throw over the middle, taken in. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. 
Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's going to take a shot for the end zone and nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it will wind up just being incomplete. From the 21, it's second and 10. Off the draw, here's Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Nine yards on the pickup there as he'll be left with third and one. Mahomes to throw on third and one. That's complete to Robinson. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Final shot before the half from Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Tyreek Hill. As time expires in the first half, and the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. You knew time was going to run out, so this had to be in the end zone, and somehow they were able to find a window and get it done. Very easy for us to talk about up here that, yes, all that had to happen, but when time's running down, sometimes your brain compresses a little bit too. They show great poise, understanding of situation, making sure they got to the end zone in order to complete that pass and take a nice momentum into the locker room. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. This will be taken very short. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. A big play there, Mahomes to Watkins. And even 40 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Blitz coming, and down he goes. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time, they'll lose one or two. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Mahomes going to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. Powers and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 30 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. 
Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Offense. Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were Still to start the half. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. It's a pickup of eight yards to move him into a third and 13 here. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Caught by Cobb. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big-time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. And they'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 22 yards there, a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. He'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Five plays there on that drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And now it's second down. And with that incompletion, let's do something different. I'm going to go through a few teams that are on losing streaks, and you tell me if there's reason for concern there. Let's start with the Cowboys. Definitely reason for concern. Oh, Prescott stripped. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually, and they'll hold on to the football as well. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. That is first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And he can't find a receiver.
receiver, and he's brought down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Check back, check back. From the shotgun, it's Prescott rolling to his right. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. You bet me, my friend! Now after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving. Keep them moving. I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the foot. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 39 yard. And the Chiefs take advantage of the turnover and put up six. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. I mean, he'll tell the ownership <laughs> that as he tries to negotiate a new contract <laughs> off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be taken about the 12. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. No, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. What do you think? Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, and he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. That one, a first down pickup of eight. A first down throw for Prescott. And that's Elliott, complete. And he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he's able to get it back here to the 43 yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline is still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. What a catch and one-handed. And I'm starting to lose my awe about the play. And maybe I shouldn't. 
How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them. They have a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. The Chiefs are down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Looking. And this is caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 37 yards, as his guys continue to pour it on. Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people like to go ahead and continue to add to their score, don't we? Yeah, I, I don't know that they need to add any more right now, though. I'm just starting to think about those dinner plans tonight, my friend. Well, you and I will be thinking about dinner plans, but we also know that playing people are thinking, how can I get some more scores for my fantasy, for other things? They're trying to figure that part out now. By the way, last weekend we went sushi because that's what you wanted. We're going steak tonight. I'm in. All right. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now here come the Cowboys. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it now because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again? Symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word and I just kept using it. <laughs> Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. A gain of six there on first. Boy, you got to think that having the 37-year-old veteran Jason Witten back at tight end is going to be great for Dak Prescott for plays just like that. And you think to last year when Witten won. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Chris Jones able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much since. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Here's Prescott, and that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And this one is right down the middle. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We you know these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. 
Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. First down, Prescott, and this is caught by Witten, the tight end. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Looking to throw, Prescott. He's got a man complete, it's Amari Cooper. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Prescott from the gun on third. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 34 yard line. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Now a play fake here on first down. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And they just had another big completion there, and I think in days gone by in the NFL, you might have asked, is this a little bit of overkill? Is this rubbing it in? I don't think people feel the same way nowadays. It's the age-old argument. Then you could say on the other side, if you're going to get angry about it, stop it, right? Go ahead and stop me. And I think a lot of the times they just look at it like, let's just play the game. And however it turns out, it turns out. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. On second and 10, Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.